So let's start with what it is. What is diabetes? So one of the biggest challenges we run into is folks call it a little bit of sugar, right? Yeah. So write it off. It's not so important. I want to be crystal clear on this. So I made an animation. Okay. So let's, Love that. Let's pretend you put some food in your mouth, okay? And let's just say it's some tortillas with a little bit of cheese on it. It's pretty benign looking. It goes into your mouth, into the stomach. It just freezes for a second. So there's the stomach digesting the food. There's the liver, which has to take all the nutrients to decide what to do with it, including making sugar out of it. Gallbladder is the green stuff. And this organ right here, that yellowish thing, that's the hero today. That's called the pancreas. Let's run this forward. The food goes through the stomach into the small bowel. The bile, the green stuff, and the yellow stuff from the pancreas, they mix. And there's the pancreas there doing its best to keep up. The food is being washed like you wash soap off some grease, and the molecules of glucose or sugar get absorbed into the body. Now, let's cut into the bloodstream. The sugar now is traveling around, and these little particles here are insulin. And these insulin particles are being released from the pancreas. And what the pancreas is trying to do, freeze us for a second, is to take the sugar, these blue dots coming in are sugar molecules, and the insulin is saying, come to me, come to me, like a funnel. It's allowing the sugar to go past the bloodstream into the tissues. Goes to our brain. Our brain can only use sugar to think. Makes us think better. Goes to our muscles so we can exercise, right? But it does other things too. Now, is sugar, may I just, is sugar a substitute for the word carbohydrate? Because I know our brain needs carbohydrate to think. Exactly. Simple carbohydrates Simple are carbohydrate. sugars. Okay. Complex carbohydrates are sugars with, with some kind of fiber, fiber. attached to okay. them. Got Real that. foods. Got okay. That. Now, what happens, run this forward, if you have too much sugar going in? We store it in our belly. That's how our ancestors survived. But that belly fat, the omentum gets ponderously large. And as it does that, it poisons the insulin. So it no longer can work and the sugar cannot get out of the bloodstream. That's a problem because in the heart, the blood vessels are very delicate. There's a Teflon lining and the sugar, like, like pieces of glass shards, scrape at it. And you see that little hole that's starting to make on the inside of the artery? As the our body scars and attempt to heal, it's a fragile repair. It breaks. It ruptures. Now you have an open surface that's sore, Oprah. When, and you have a cut anywhere, you form a scab on it, right? Yeah. Same thing in, a, in the body. You form a scab in the artery. It gets larger and larger and kaboom! Right there you saw the leading cause of death in diabetics because a diabetic will most likely die from a heart attack from that very reason. Oprah, one quarter of the patients that I operate on every day have diabetes. 